Hey guys, Alex Salatino here, and today I have an upgrade video number three. Um, now, so, with my Stampede, I don't know if you guys know, but you would have seen if you had my Instagram page, which is rc underscore drag car underscore station. And if you guys knew about that, uh, you would know that I have the roll cage on my truck instead of a body um, because this is my old body right here this one um, that kind of broke like really bad so um, but if you guys were on my Instagram page you would have known that and you also would have known that I balled one of my hexes because they're plastic but luckily it did not also um, well might have a little bit um, it might have balled that a little bit, the he inner hex of the wheel, but uh, luckily it didn't do that a lot. And um, But yeah, so that went wrong with my truck. Um, also what went wrong is, I don't know if you can see, see the corrosion? Yeah, this battery is toast. So um, this was a reaction... 4,000 milliamp 2S 7.4 volt lipo. Um, so this one's out the window, so that can be thrown away. And what I have today is... I has a box. So, I have an idea of what's in here, but um, we'll see. Let's find out. So, we'll just cut this open. place. Okay. Alright. Ooh. Okay, so, number one. Blue Traxxas wheelie bar. Um, I had a black Traxxas wheelie bar, but these right here, those both broke off because at the time I didn't know how to jump RCs. And I would always land on the back, so that one broke, so my color scheme on my truck is blue, so I got a blue one. Um, so that's number one. Okay, next. Ha ha! Blue aluminum split hexes. Now, they will never go bald. These, if anything, will make the tire go bald. And then that's also a problem, but happy it got these are 12 millimeter blue aluminum hexes. Um, GPM racing products. So um, they're a really good company. You should go check them out if you need any parts like this, uh, any blue anodized aluminum or any color. So yeah, that's pretty good. Got that. And um, yes, bada boom. A Traxxas 5000 milliamp 3S LiPo. Mm. Auto battery identification with ID equipped Traxxas charger. So, there's the LiPo. On the back it says warning, caution, danger, fire hazard. That's pretty obvious. Um,. I don't know why. The box is beat up. I ordered this stuff off of Amazon. box is beat up, but, uh... Lipo's in good condition. Lipo's, like, brand new. So, it has the... There's... Oh, it's not access. Okay, there... They have the high current connector. It's pretty freaking big. I mean, uh... And it's soft case. It's not a hard case lipo, like, uh, it's not here, but it's not a soft case lipo like the other lipo I showed you. Uh, this one is soft. Uh, lift here, instructions, and closed. Okay. Well, that's convenient. Instructions are right on the battery. That's pretty nice. 
the uh, make sure the battery connectors are connected correctly. The voltage does not measure by what volts. The battery is reuse the battery. Just stuff like uh, tells you how to use the battery and the correct voltage it should be and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, now I will open everything. Okay, guys, I'm back. So now we'll start opening everything up and reading everything. So I know I opened the lipo, but let's just read it now. Um, it says, um, "High output tracks as lithium polymer technology. It is 25C, 11.1 volt, um, three cell, 5,000 milliamp. Um, auto I." Auto battery identification with ID equipped Traxxas connectors. So that's that's configuration 3S1P. Uh, I know what the 3S means, but I don't know what the 1P means. Uh, continuous charge 125C or 125A. Max burst 50C. Watt hours 55.5. Charging rate 1C. Max charge rate 2C. Dimensions 155 by 26 by 44. Weight is 13.3 ounces or 376 grams. So that's pretty much it for the battery. Um, so that's it for the battery. Um, now we got the GPM Racing Products uh, Aluminum Hexes, so I'll go ahead and open those up. Ah, opens easily. Put that right there. The, hold on. Just cut this real quick. Mm hmm Traxxas, you never disappoint me. Okay, so here we have the hexes. Those are pretty freaking blue. <laughs> um, they're 12 millimeter. Um, I think it doesn't matter which ones are the rears and which ones are front, but these are blue aluminum. Um, these will never strip out unless you have some sort of aluminum rims, and I'm not sure where you would get aluminum rims, but uh, here they give you the pins, they give you the um, Allen wrench, and they give you the screws for um, the split, because they're the split hexes, so they give you the screws for the split hexes. Um, and honestly, I'm actually not sure how to use split hexes, but... Uh, We'll figure that out, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And then um, says just the thing that says important. Um, so yeah, um, one locate part number, two locate serial sticker, three register online, four save receipt. Um, so it's just a warranty card. So that's it for the. Um, aluminum hexes. Hold on, let me just put everything back in here. Then we'll get to the wheelie bar. Okay. Put that over here. Now we got the wheelie bar. So, get to that. Oops. Put that over there. Um, get the knife. right there okay so we'll do the boring stuff first this is just a manual on like uh, how to install it that it's adjustable where to put the screws and everything um, so yeah that's just the paper on how to do all that stuff um, and now we got the actual wheelie bar. Um, 
These wheels are bushings, not bearings. And this is an adjustable wheelie bar. Urgh. And this is kind of hard to get, but um, urgh. it's not moving right now, but you just unclip these, these two clips right here, and then this whole part right here can swivel on this right here, and you can adjust the height of it. Um, it's at its highest point right now because it goes on the truck like this, but it can make it like go down like this or straight out or over right here or whatever you want. So, um, that's basically the wheelie bar. Let me try one more time to, uh, nah, not going to happen right now. So, that's basically it for the wheelie bar itself, and then they just give you the screws to mount it. So, um, got a long one, medium, and then short. So, that's basically it for all the parts guys um next in the video i'll put them on and then i'll get back to you okay guys so i got the blue aluminum hexes installed and they look pretty good i mean these will not strip out i have them on both sides and these will not strip out these are pretty good but on the front, um, I'm not sure why, but if I put them on the front, then the front wheels rub. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But the, f the rear is basically all I needed because the front ones are never going to strip out. I mean, there's no power going to them. This is the two-wheel drive peed, so I'll have spare rear ones when I need them. So... That's basically it for the um, aluminum hexes, so now I'll install the wheelie bar. Okay guys, so while I have the, real, the wheelie bar undone, I thought I might show you. Um, it's adjustable because these will be attached to the truck straight like this. And then I got this unclipped, so I could like, um, could say if I want it here, I could move this down, and then clip it into this position because they clip into these you get these choices of positions I could clip it into those ones I could clip it into these ones I could clip it into these ones then I can clip it into these ones which is like almost a drag racing position which is like almost scraping the ground so just thought I might show you that while I have it undone now I'll install it okay guys so I got the wheelie bar installed and that looks pretty cool especially since I have all the blue under parts at the bottom <coughs> Woo, excuse me so um eventually I will be getting blue aluminum front and rear skid plates so they don't match the truck really well but uh, yeah this wheelie bar rock solid have it set at about right there so yeah so now the only thing left for me to do is the lipo and I have to charge it first but uh, so yeah guys um, that's pretty much it for this video um, as you can see I have a new background behind me um, Hit the like button below if you like my new background, or the dislike if you do not. Um, shortly after Christmas, because Christmas is in th three days, so um, after Christmas I will be getting a SC, a Dramada SC 4.18, which is an 18 scale short course truck, um, and I will be doing a review and unboxing of that, but uh... So, like, rate, subscribe, and tell your friends, and more videos to come. Thank you.